Well, hi folks, I'm making some yarn balls today. It was quite a simple ball shape. And then you're just cutting out a few pieces of the ball to put the yarn through. So I'll do it, I'll make the balls and then I'll show you how I cut them out with different shapes. Now the thing with this is, you've got to make them quite thick because when you do the cutting out, if you make the ball too thin, then it tends to warp in the kiln. So it's quite unnatural for me to make things really thick, but uh, you've just got to get used to it really. I'm just going to go in, leave a bit of thickness at the bottom. Just lift her up. Make these quite quickly because they're so thick. I'm just going to push in a little bit and just stretch it out. What I'm going to do with this, I'm going to put a beaded rim on the end, so I'm going to my finger I'm just going to sharpen this edge over like so and then just roll it over roll it round so that gives the impression of a big of a nice thick rim so we'll just finish off the shape like I said a very basic shape ball quite a lot of thickness at the bottom but I'll do a lot of, I'll trim a lot of that off when I'm turning it Yeah, it's quite a thick ball, but it needs to be so you can uh, cut the pieces out and it doesn't warp. So I'll just show you the profile of it with the beaded rim. I'll just do another one. So I'll have to leave these about probably about eight or nine hours to dry dry out enough so I can cut the cut the holes out. I can't leave them till tomorrow. Because they'll be too dry to cut the to, to cut the uh, the slots out, so it's one of those things where you do it the same day as you throw in it, and then you turn it the next day. further make the base a little bit narrower this time. So I'm just simply flaring it out. And then again we'll just do the rim. I'm flattening it off, making it quite sharp on both sides. And then rolling it over. Quite a good tip to do in any bowl if you've got a, if you've got it looking a little bit thin at the top and you want it thicker just do that it gives the impression of a big thick big thick top again okay, just stretch it out very basic shape bowl So a couple of those done. So next what I'll do, I'll, I'll put the holes in and the slits and I'll show you how we do that later. Well hi folks, a bit later on today, it's dried out a bit now, so I'm going to put the holes in. I'm just going to use my little punch and use a, a needle, a little needle tool to cut the cut the slot out. So I'm just going to go in, it might, it might be a little bit dark unfortunately, and it'd probably be strobing because I'm under these fluorescent lights, but uh, we'll see how we get on. And I can't really get the camera in the right position. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to make a little cut. With my pin. First one. You 
can be as extravagant as you like with these. I used to do big spirals, but the trouble is, they always ended up warping in the kiln. Because as you can see, this bit still quite, uh, it's just hanging in mid-air. So I'm just going to punch a little, another couple of holes in there. Apparently for the knitters, this is where they store the knitting needles. I'm trying to do it over the top of the camera, so this will probably be the worst one I've ever done. So that's what it looks like. So I'm just going to go and find my sponge, which I've lost. Where's my sponge gone? Oh dear. So I'm just going to give this a sponge off, just to get rid of the all the rough, sharp edges. Again, you probably can't see it very well. And I'm going to trim it up later on, I'll show you how I do that. Get rid of most of this thickness at the bottom. When I turn it. I'm probably better off actually if I lift it up. I'll, just lift, I'll lift the camera up. like it's really strobing now this camera I don't know what it is it's these fluorescent lights they don't like it I've set the anti flicker it just doesn't seem to want to stop flickering so like I said I'm just going to sponge these bits off tidy them up like that so that's what it looks like anyway, the sort of basic shirt, something for your yarn to go through. So next bit I'll just turn it, trim it and decorate it and I'll show you what it's like when it's finished. Well hi folks, I'm just going to turn this yarn ball now, show you how to do it. Still a little bit soft but it should be alright. Again, just smoothing a few of the little lines out. I'm going to get rid of a lot of this thick stuff at the bottom using the ribbon tool again. And then using a small one just to get in a bit further. Band design. I'm just going to put some slip in the middle and using my finger, just do something like that. Just put a little touch on the on the rim, and a little bit on the outside. I'll just put the older. I've got one finished here. I'll show you what what the design looks like when it's. When it's finished, when it's fired, probably can't see. But anyway, that's the finished, the finished yarn ball, like so. That's the design in the middle, and this is what it's going to look like when it's fired, like a little swirly pattern. And that's what the pot looks like when it's finished. Again, it's shrunk a heck of a lot. And you can see that's the reason why we make them quite thick. This is quite a thin one, as you can see. It's they do tend to warp, especially being stoneware, when you've got a bit hanging off like that. But anyway, that's it. That's how I make the yarn bolts.